new kind of video. I'm reacting to Childish Gambino's new album, Bando Still in the New World. Let's do it. <laughs> Last one, baby. Let's do it. I'm hyped. <laughs> okay. I mean, Gambino rapping again for sure, dude. <laughs> no, nothing. Dude, the instrumentals on this is crazy. Dude, this is insane, dude. <laughs> I was waiting. I keep waiting for that that build up. That's a lot going on, dude. The instrumental is insane. I definitely have to listen to it more just to pick out what's going on there between all of the crazy, you know, synths and pads going on. All the snares were crazy. Just everything. I have to analyze that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna skip Lithonia. I love it to death. Amazing song. We're gonna go to survive. I like this a lot, dude. It's smooth, it flows good, the lines are good. Oh, I like this, dude. I like this. This is good. Wow, love it. Love it. Love to see a confident Gambino. This is great stuff, dude. This is great stuff. I love this. This is so good. Beautiful, dude. Freaking beautiful as hell. Damn, dude. Damn. Oh, keep going, baby. Keep going, dude. Keep going. Talk your shit. Talk your shit, saxophone. Talk your shit. Oh, so good, dude. It had good singing. It had good rapping. Everything you want from the guy. Kind of reminds me of Time Off Atavista. Kind of just the fulfilled idea of that, you know? Dude. This is like... Oh my gosh, I love, again, great, sounds great. So sexy, dude, so clean, oh, love it. Oh, damn it. Am I pregnant? <laughs> oh, so good. Dude, C's gang, who can relate? <laughs> All I wanna do, baby, step speech. This is so freaking good, dude. Oh, hot damn, dude. Hey, steps, bitch. All I wanna do is... Dude, so beautiful. I knew right away, too, dude. Once that instrumental came in, talk about a summer song, dude. Talk about a song for a late night bonfire at the beach. Talk about good vibes, dude. Talk about the kind of vibes that just... Ah, dude, just... He never got even. He's still just a critic. He's still in his feelings. They want to... True. Definitely want to have to revisit a little bit. I thought uh, Donald's verse was pretty good. The other ones, again, like I said, start off a little shaky. Not even shaky, just like I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Oh! Reminiscent of Heartbeat. Reminds me of Heartbeat almost. Dude, it sounds like Heartbeat. Heartbeat meets uh, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish, dude. That was a lot. That was intense, dude. Good lord. That's like when I drink too much coffee in my heart and I think I'm gonna die and have a heart attack. That's how I felt. Like that one a lot. Really cool. Like I said, live, and I'm seeing him live in September. Gonna go crazy. Oh! Like this too, dude. I feel it in my heart, dude. My soul. I'm gonna transcend real quick, dude. It's just a song to get you dancing. Just a song to get you, you know, feeling the vibe, feeling good, feeling the, the real love. Oh. More rapping, more rapping. I like this. Dude, like this, dude. Oh. oh, dude, what a verse, dude, what a verse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that's awesome, dude. That's really cool. I can't wait to uh, re-listen to that one. Putting that one on the gym playlist, you know, F the haters. W parenting, W parenting, Mr. Glover. It's so much more impactful with legend on it because 
we're hearing, you know, the words spoken directly from him. Really like that. And we've heard a lot of the ideas already about Donald's love for, for his wife and his children. And it's nice to see, you know, uh, you know, the family show up on the album. It's really cool. I like that one too. We're bringing the glockenspiel back. Let's do it. Reminiscent of kids on camps, on camp. Awesome song. Dude, this is a, this is a late night drive kind of song. You know what I'm saying? Oh, beautiful. Dude, I could vibe here for a while. Wow. <laughs> oh, what a musical interlude that was. That was insane. That one very layered. A lot going on, but at different points. And never did it feel, you know, like it was too much or was like, you know, convoluted or just fighting for ear space, you know? And I, if anything, one thing I need to touch on is like the mixing and mastering sounds amazing on this album. All right, let's do Cruisin' featuring Yeet. This is the guy from Minions, uh, I believe. This is a Gru. I believe Yeet's from the Gru movie. Okay, I like that. Beautiful pad. Beautiful pad, dude. Yo, I like that. Yo, huh. Me neither. Oh, but the best. That's Ludwig right there, dude. I can tell that. Ooh. Oh. Me two. Me three. Me four. Very reminded me of his Creed score which is phenomenal, amazing. I love the dude's uh, film score work as well. Like that one too, dude. The, oh man, Yeet's verse was pretty good. I don't listen to that much Yeet, but I liked his verse. I liked everything from uh, Mr. Glover himself. The instrumental was probably the highlight for me. Again, the way it grows and grows and builds towards the end, beautiful. You bring in that string, whoo -hoo, baby. That's deadly, bro. That's a deadly combination. Wow, beautiful. Sounds almost like Lost in the World, you know? Who will survive in America? And that's a great thing. Let's keep it moving. Okay. This is gonna go so crazy. Once we bring in that kick. Oh. Ah. My soul. Ah. Dude, so good, dude, so good. Feeling alt? Alt Gambino? Maybe my favorite song on the album, that was insane. Oh, good lord, what a vibe. What a vibe. I'm so sad this is ending. Oh gosh, only three songs left. I wasn't even listening to it. <laughs> like, you know, the, the, ah, just, I don't know. Just, I just, mm-hmm, <laughs> yep, speechless. Slow it down, go. Oh, I love that guitar, dude. I love that. No, no, why, Dinkleberg? Okay, very Guava Islandy, very Mario Sunshine, very Mario Sunshine, you know. That's something that we don't get a lot is like artists who, or at least in my life, artists who have come up and then retired and stopped, and you see this full culmination of a. Um, of an artist and their story. You hear Donald Glover talk about all the time about how endings are special and endings are, you know, important. And I, I get it, dude, I get it. I get this closing the book on this story of Childish Gambino. And even if further, he continues to make music as Donald Glover or as another name, it's really cool to see the culmination of the story. And this guy, like I said, that you know, that we kind of grew up with, me in particular, and that's really cool. That's really cool. I'm, I'm really, like, genuinely, you know, uh, give me a second. Let me, let me stop and get, show you guys something real quick. Let me show you something real quick. Before I listen to this, uh, 
this final Childish Gambino song, dude. Here I have my whole entire entire vinyl collection. Stone Mountain. I have the uh, I have the uh, the bootleg one. I because I I was so desperate when, before the actual one came out. Awaken, obviously. Camp, obviously. And then I have the uh, I actually have the bootleg of Summer Pack also. And then I have because the internet, obviously. And then that's the like the pink uh, pressing of it. And then I have super proud of the actual screenplay one. Super proud of that. It took me forever to hunt that one down. And dude, dude, as someone who has been pursuing my own creative ventures over the last, you know, uh, ten years, whenever I started that, I think what really stood out to me that resonated with me about Childish Gambino, Donald Glover in general, just this idea that you know you can do whatever you want and you can't be boxed into any category based on who or what the world thinks you should be especially you go back to that in camp and you know a lot of lines off of that resonate with how i felt back then and as i get older i relate to not so much this and uh where he's at now because i don't have you know i'm not at this uh different points creatively and I don't have a family <laughs> or kids or a wife for that matter. I have the Adidas shoes, if you guys remember those. I've uh, I've seen like pretty much all of his movies. I watched Atlanta, love community to death. People are so special and people can do a lot of different things when you just work hard and you dedicate that and to be confident, right? We hear a lot of him talking about this confidence that he has. And I think that a lot of people don't have that because a lot of people can do a lot of great things if they just take the time and if they think it's cool and if they think it's fun and I think that part of that is the reason that this channel and my main channel exist just because of this idea of like yeah I think that'd be cool I think I can do that I'm gonna try it right and even if you know the success isn't there just trying things and trying and the attempt and the effort I think that's special one of the worst things that I've always felt is that feeling of finishing your life and not being like, oh, what could have been? That's for a lot of people too. It's not just something specific to Childish Gambino. And just because it's, he really thrives in the artistic realm and you know, you might not be a good singer or an actor or something like that. That doesn't mean that that's not special for you. And that doesn't mean that there's not a path out there for you in what you can accomplish. Again, this is just the thing that lined up for him. For you, it might be something different. You might be really good at A, B, and C, right? Compared to myself, compared to a Donald Glover, anyone else in the world. And I think that, dude, just try to get the max potential out of your life because it's short. And that's kind of uh, what I've resonated really well with Donald Glover as a person, as an artist. And I've never met the guy. He's a complete stranger. Like I said, I don't have a lot of artists who I've... Uh, seeing the culmination of their careers and the uh, ending. So with that being said, let's listen to the last song, the last Childish Gambino song. Let's do uh, A Place Where Love Goes. If you see me spin, I'm all right. I've been okay. Oh, dude. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful, dude. Beautiful conclusion. I think I've said enough. I think I've said my thoughts. You know, even if like, <laughs> I realize this is a movie channel, even if no one watches this, I just, I needed to get this out. It's just a good uh, therapy. <laughs> Childish gave me no therapy for me. And also I just wanted to have this on record. My last listen to, uh, my first listen to his last album. Really special. Thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Um,